Welcome everybody, it's Tractor Shoot here for part two of Thunderclap Thursday. Ash Browns, you can see, is already in this game here as he already started chatting. That is the chatty fellow that I like casting there, he's claiming that he enjoys that nice portrait. Let's see whose portrait he's complimenting. In the lower left-hand corner is the red Potos. It is Hugh Matthew. Hugh Matthew, maybe Matthew Hughes, who knows? One of my favorite UFC fighters, Matt Hughes, Matthew Hughes, whatever you want to call him. He is a very awesome wrestler type style uh, UFC fighter. They're very good. One of the best of all time. All right. We do have the probe scouting for Hash Browns here, who we will introduce once he gets out of there here. And we look around at everything happening on the map. All right. In the upper left-hand corner, it is our favorite breakfast. We cannot get away without introducing him. It is Hash Browns playing as the blue Protoss. All right, let's get this baby rolling. We'll slow this down so we can get ourselves caught up. His pros running around causing a nuisance in Hugh Matthews' base here. And Hash Browns is getting the expansion out very, very early. Did he go pylon expansion? Wow, he's got some balls tonight, boys. Woo-hoo! Not very often do you see pylon into an expansion here. So this boy is basically banking that the guy he is playing does not scout at all. But he might be in for a rude awakening. The only thing he got lucky with is that the guy that was scouting scouted everywhere on the map and sat in the upper right hand corner for a bit. Might allow him a little bit of time. But still going to be big trouble if Hugh Matthew can react accordingly when he sees how early that expo did go down here. As we are just getting the gateway started at this point in time. And if you didn't notice, this is one of the coolest looking maps Blizzard has ever put out. It is uh, Red City there, one of the coolest maps. All right, let's take a look at the production tab here. Coolest looking maps, anyways. Whether or not you think it's cool to play, I'm not too sure. All right, we are warping ourselves out some Z-Lots here. So we are going to get some early units out of Hugh Matthew here. So this might not be the best for Hash Browns here. Hash Browns, of course, as we all have come to know and love his style, loves to give his probe some vacation time. Like I say, when you work for Hash Browns, you get vacation. There we go. He does scout in there. Basically sees what he needs to see there. Does see that the one gateway is coming down here. So definitely knows that he can send some early pressure here without any sort of resistance. What in the hell is this guy doing? All right, Hugh Matthew. You seem to have some retarded probes. This one is sitting here uh, just staring at the rock pile there. Don't know if that's the best use of that probe. Is, does he think there's a Naga Tower there? All right, not entirely sure what he is scouting here. Doesn't have a lot of vision. I mean, you're going to see the units that they come in here, I guess. But either way, whatever you wish to do, Hugh Matthew, you have the most interesting scouting spot on the map. But if you want to just stand a probe somewhere, maybe stand him up here or stand him in the middle of the road. Does, is that another one? All right, apparently Hugh Matthew has a new inventive, innovative way to, to do some scouting on the map. He has random probes positioned throughout the map here, so he's going to know what happens, what it moves. It's just that the guys are standing there kind of off, off center of the pathway to him here. So I don't know if he's the smartest of moves. He's finally sending a Z-Lot down here, but realistically, by that time there, uh, Hashbrown's going to have himself out at least enough to block it off here. Hashbrown's once again vacate time for his little probe here. So very well done. Here comes the Z-Lot. It is going to rally down to the probe here. This is a brand new style, Hugh Matthew. I'm not entirely sure what in the hell you're doing here. But he does stand the Z-Lot here. Z-Lot, I guess this probe here whined for some attention. Now he has somebody to visit with. So they're going to sit there and visit for a little while here. Up here, we do have the uh, forge going down here. And finally, Warp Gate technology is coming out here. He's getting his sentry out as well. Let's pull up the units tab. We are one Z-Lot uh, Z at the six minute mark. You know you are casting a high end game when at the six minute mark. So you have one offensive unit per team. Woo! Love it. All right, this probe race is coming on here. <laughs> Basically, he just chased around Hash Brown's uh, patrol pointed probe there. Here, and like I say, once again, two random units standing here. Has moved the probe that was standing up here. I don't know. Somebody better get this position here. This is an important job to stand up by those rocks here. You never know if those rocks are going to jump up and hurt you. All right, we do have the sentry going over here as well. Here, I imagine that sentry is going to stand there the same. So he's going with the sentry slash Z lot build here. Uh, not exactly build, but. Compilation to start does get the second Z lot out here as well. Here, Hash Browns in the meantime has the three cannons up here and the one Z lot finishing off the wall here, so they should easily be a, uh, enough to fend off anything that tries to get through that front door. Here comes that probe here, it's gonna run right into these cannons. I would imagine he's probably not paying attention to it, so they will go right in here as this probe tries to get in the base. There's a cannon shooting them off. Probe says, Please let me through, big man. Big man says, You bet your son gets out of the way there and lets him in there. We we'll look at the army we are compiling here two sentries. A Stalker and two Zealots, and he has got the proxy pylon laid down, so this is what that probe is for. This probe had to sit there and make sure that that area was good enough to build on before he could build it. Now he's just going to sit there and relax for a little bit. 
Doesn't hurt to have a probe in your army, I suppose. But anyways, we'll go down here, and he does have... He must have just finished... Yes, he did just finish Warp Gate Technology. Thank goodness, otherwise he was Chrono Boosting out air. And that wouldn't be a very good move at all. He's got to realize that since... And this is just a little tip for you. That since Hash Browns was on two bases so early, you either pressure him early or you get your second base up as, as well. He has done either one of them, so I believe I can see where this game is going to go already because this is going to be big trouble. What a heavy sentry count he has in this army. Holy Christ. <laughs> He's now gotten himself up to six sentries in this army, so maybe he loves sentries. But yeah, you, you really got to pressure early because you know you're down a base. When you're down a base and you're, you're Protoss versus Protoss, you can't have that happen. So this could be very devastating here. But let's take a look and see who we think is going to win this. We have one Z-Lot, one Stalker, one Mothership Core, and a whopping Observer for Hash Browns. But remember, he's got these three cannons. If we take a look at Hugh Matthews, he's got six sentries, four Stalkers, and four Z-Lots. Now let's see his micro skill in action here. Realistically, uh, I don't think he's going to get through this. Just Maybe it'll be very close, actually. If he does use his four skills while which he is doing, he might have a chance here. He's going to go for the pylons here instead of going for the cannons here. He does get the photon overcharge here, so this might help on Ashrams here. He does have the Void Ray on the field at this point in time. It is unpowered now. It's the Stalker and the Void Ray going here. Those Stalkers are going to try and target down that Void Ray here. Holy killer off here. Flies it out this time. Very well done. Did need to save that Void Ray. Oh, he lost him in the end. Oh, right when I thought he had it. Let's have the... Is that a Stargate? It's going Stargate and Robo both building there. So very, very interesting. There does kill off that army here. He is going to continually send in random units here as the Sentry and the Z-Lot walks right into the Photon Overcharge like it's nothing. He says, get off of me, son. I'm going to go for your Cyber Core. That doesn't hurt me at all. He's going to attack the Sentry. I don't know why he's sitting inside that Photon Overcharge. Not the brightest of moves, Hugh Matthew. I would recommend not standing within that Fire Range here. And there we go. We are going to get three pylons up this time. And Astros realized two was not enough there. So we'll take a look up here. He does get out the Warp Prism. So he's going to do some sneaky moves here. Apparently he has the Warp Prism and the Void Ray out there. Both coming out the exact same time here. And we have no army for Hugh Matthew. But Hugh Matthew decides, you know what? I failed. I'm going to expand. So Hugh Matthew is finally expanding here. Still riding on three gate uh, with the Cyber Core here. So very interesting. Not going to recommend that build, especially at the 11-minute mark there. But he did try to push early there. Like I say, just wasn't early enough. Need to get in there a little bit earlier here. He is getting a Immortal out with another Void Ray out here as well. And pounding out the gateways here he is. Wow, look at those gateways going here. Let's take a look at everything he's got producing here. He does, wow, seven gateways, eight gateways going down here. This is unbelievable. Is getting ground level one here. Good attack. He does compliment him. I always love Hash Browns for being one of the most polite players I've ever seen. I, I've always commented on polite players. I love it when people actually enjoy themselves winning or losing in StarCraft 2. All about having fun as the cliche goes. Down here, he still has that probe here. This probe is really keeping guard of that proxy pylon, making sure nothing happens to it. Hash Browns, where the Hash Browns apparently decides he wants to go on a scenic road. As far as I know, he did scout his opponent, did he not? Let me take a look at Hash Browns' view here. Yes, he does know where his opponent is, so he definitely wants to take a look around the whole map here to make sure he can enjoy the view of Red City. Once again, I have said this is a great map, so I'm going to have to assume that he is just enjoying that view. It is 70 to 24 in food count at this point in time. We are 12 minutes in the game. We need to speed this baby up because I'm getting a little worried about you, Hugh Matthew. Hugh Matthew has built up a bit of an army here. Does have another probe. Apparently every probe that builds a pylon, you have earned yourself retirement. It is like your retirement package. You get to sit by that pylon for the rest of the game if you build it. Oh, he put him to work. Wow, what a shitty retirement that was. This guy up here, he's still enjoying the good life here, enjoying his vacation. Over here, we do have the uh, warp prism finally getting in the base here. So what imagine we are going to see some units warped in. Let's slow this baby down so we can enjoy this warp in here. Hugh Matthew sees it. He's thinking, what do I do? He's going to go up to the top. Not the best move here. This warp prism is going to stand here and... Apparently do nothing there. Ash Brown is just going to let him float above the base here. Down here he has not warped in anything with this proxy here. And we do have the third going up for Ash Brown. So wow, getting very good there. The army of Ash Browns right now ha consists of the... Actually, I want to watch this. I'm very curious what's going to happen here. Oh, he does realize it's there. Now we'll see if Ash Brown pays attention. Maybe does something with him here. Those... Oh, he tried to attack him, I think. He is going to get right up onto the top here. Maybe warp in some units here. But I was going to say he has two Immortals, two Warp Prisms. Wow, a double the Warp Prism. Four Void Rays and a Mothership Core. Does end up warping in five Z-Lots here. So those five Z-Lots are going to get in there. Sends in a few sentries to try and stop this here. Z-Lots are going to massacre these sentries. Very good here. Will not kill any of the Z-Lots here. They all go down fairly quickly here. 
They're gonna go for that middle line. Another Z lot. Wow, I must say, Hugh Matthew enjoys his Z lots is going with the Stargate and the Robo Facility as well at the same time here. And as the Stalker in the back of the base, that Stalker felt like it didn't have to help do anything. Now Piri is going to continually get kills. He is elected not to pull the pulls and turn them around and start beating on them. Beating on the Z-Lots there. So not the best move by Hugh Matthew. And they have another Z-Lot coming in. That Z-Lot is going to kill the Unmicro Stalker there. But that might, that doesn't matter. When you're in Bronze League, Micro is just a word that you think means mini. And he will end up killing off, or not killing off. He will end up building a proxy down here. Really doesn't need to. He knows how many units Hugh Matthew has. I'm not too sure why he doesn't just walk down these units here, massacre him at this point in time. We're going to speed this up because I think he's pissing around with them right now. He is going to move them about two feet here. Finish his army up here. He's up to 113 to 148 for an army count here. And we'll sit here for a little bit. All right, you're getting four times now. I have no idea what uh, Hatchbrom is doing at this point in time. He is warping, not warping, he is uh, probe transferring over to his third there. They're all going over there, deciding they're going to move to a new town to start mining from. He is He's going to look at getting his third. So apparently Hugh Matthew does not believe in building an army and decides that he's going to get a third base now, realizing that he's so far behind, maybe he needs to get a third up to catch up. Which isn't a bad thing to think there, but at the same time there, maybe you might want to start putting some more offensive units on the field here. All right, not entirely sure why we are standing around this point in time. 152 to 68 is the food count here. Do have a little bit of a uh, interaction here. This probe does see that here. He's going up to the cool area, puts his wart or his uh, pylon up there. Is getting a fourth at the same time here. I would have to imagine that Hash Browns is pissing him around with him at this point in time. They scout out that uh, retirement probe. They're not very good for him there. They end up taking out that pylon here. He's getting a, oh God. As a fifth base going down as well. Has warped in a bunch of units with some darkies down here. He is just getting nasty at this point in time here. We're going to pull up our production tab and see how much he's got. Basically nothing special. Uh, void Ray and a Gateway here. Oh, wow. He's actually accumulated a bit of an army. How much of an army does this man have? Five Void Rays on the field. Four Stalkers. Six Zealots. And, of course, loves his Sentry count. Seven Sentries. That's enough to queue into Firewalk. Or enough. Enough to queue into Hash Browns. So used to casting Firewalkers games here at the same time here. Get my names mixed up sometimes here. All right, Hash Browns is actually going to move all the way down here. We'll end up taking that Naga Tower here. Not much of a battle there. They end up taking all that out. Stand there at the middle there. This has to have Hugh Matthews basically bracing and hoping for the best at this point in time here. They're all going to surround around the middle here, and then they're going to move up finally here. We will speed up their uh, little bit of a trip here. They're going to move here right up the ramp here. Going to walk into these couple units of Hugh Matthew here. They're going to massacre them pretty quick here. I can almost predict what's going to happen here. Going to walk all the way down here, massacre through these units in about two and a half seconds, I would have to imagine here. Or maybe he's just going to st stand up and sneak in the back entrance here. So he's going to come all the way around the back side and surprise him, which isn't really going to surprise him. But we'll give him more of a bigger engagement there, so that'll help out quite a bit here. We will speed that up. Now let's slow it down and watch how quickly this army goes down here. All those darkies are getting in there. Z-Lot speed getting in there. He is using those sentries to their full advantage here. All those void rays melt here very, very quickly here. One, two, three, four, five all go down. There's some very well done there. He is going to massacre through the natural here. You can't see what this game. Really no contest, but very well done by Hot Browns here. Finishes that base off there. Finishes that gas off here. Hugh Matthew hasn't given up. He's still warping in units here. Still has some faith. Has the three Stargates going now. Three Stargates on one base. is going to carry you too far now at this point in time here. Has left that game in disgust without the good game. All right. My condolences to you, Hugh Matthew. You tried your best. Hopefully you take some tips. And to Hash Browns, I give you my congrats. And I will have to leave you with the parting words to finish my day off. It is my weekend I am approaching here. So when you're going to your weekend, the donkey's in the field, horses in the house, and dogs in the truck. Don't let the iodine get in your mouth. Thanks so much for watching. You be good. Don't hurt nobody. Peace.